you cool kids and welcome back to another episode of Dungarumpa Ultra and Despair Girls. It looks like a real war. And we are rounding out the finale of this series, I feel. Is that Mole Man piloting that thing? Looks like he's getting out a lot of pent-up anger. Are the children going to be okay? Now's not the time to think about the enemy. I mean... There are tons of innocent kids. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Actually, you know what? That's a very... Oh, you know what? I wonder if I may have missed a sparkle already. You know what? I'm gonna just... I'm going to do a detect. Oh god, you know what? This is really frightening because I've I haven't missed a, a hidden child yet. Um Well I mean I've I've missed some but we've caught them along the way, but now I'm scared you know what? I'm just gonna trust in my instincts that I didn't miss some back there. Alright. Keep your eyes open for sparkles. That's time. All right, let's make sure I didn't miss a sparkle on this side. This looks like an arena. Oh, there's something going on over here. Um... What happened to these children? They look completely terrified. Hmm. Probably just scared once they saw the adults were fighting back. Remember those idiots back when you were a kid? The ones who would mess up a chained up dog? Inevitably, they'd get bitten and then they'd end up with a fear of dogs. But... but don't they look just horrified? They're completely frozen in fear. You're right. Maybe they're more childlike than we imagined. They never thought it would come to this, or... Or, do you know something? No. No, nothing definitive. Just a feeling. Regardless, once we get to the kids' HQ, we'll have all the answers. Even if we don't want them. Yeah. Toko's pretty good at, at figuring stuff out, to be honest. This looks incredibly suspicious. Alright, but, but we need to make sure that I look for sparkles first. We can't be messing up here. There it is. Adventurer. Items highly more likely to drop after defeating the enemy. Well, I don't really need that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that. No sparkles. Come on now. Let's not miss a hidden kid at this point. Alright. Bring it on. What a weird... So the door opens if you ring the bell? That's kind of weird. We got in pretty easy, huh? Maybe it's because Big Bang Monokuma is making such a mess. Toko, what are you looking around for? <laughs> There's no mistaking it. Master is here! The red string tied to my pinky. Oh, I can feel it tugging. <laughs> but in a building this big, it's gonna be hard to find him. Well, obviously. All we have to do is catch the head brat and make them spill. And while we're at it, we can make them stop controlling the Monokumas. Two birds, one stone. Knowing those brats, I bet they're somewhere up high where they can watch it all go down. Yeah, that seems likely. But from here on, we can't let our guard down. The Monokuma controller has to be well protected. Let's buckle up and get moving. Yeah, let's end this. 
Personally, I'm hoping for an easy ending. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. And while the credits roll, you'll be all jealous watching Master and me passionately embrace. <laughs> Toka, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be jealous of that. For some reason, I feel like I've seen this before. There's no chance it would suddenly ambush us, right? You've seen this before? Alright, well, let's save. This music right here, it highly reminds me of uh, Danganronpa 2. I don't know why it reminds me of Danganronpa 2. I, you know what? I really need to listen to the soundtracks again. Wait, there's two doors. Also, Sparkle. To Tokuichi Toa, representative of Toa Group in Toa City, announced plans today to rebuild Toa Hills, a city landmark only trumped by Toa Tower. This time, reconstruction will upscale the, building, the business side of Toa Hills. Toa Hills has entertained residents and tourists alike, and with the remodeling, the business and private sectors will be completely revitalized. Construction begins in one year, and is slated for completion three years later. Okay, let me look at the map. Uh, all these doors connect? I don't understand that map. Let me just check. Any sparkles? God, there's just so much going on. I could easily miss a sparkle. Alright, well, I guess let's start from the right hand side. I don't really know exactly what's going on here. There's an arcade machine over there. I guess you have to get through all of these. Okay, what's the trap? Use that guy to step on the switch, which opens the door, and then the bomb? Ugh, God, I'm confused. Okay, I messed this one up. Okay, um, I don't know if I did that one properly, so you guys will have to tell me later how wrong I got that one. Control, we can move the robot, right? It seems dangerous to just start playing with it. Why don't you touch it? Oh, 
Oh, the robots must be blocking my path up ahead. I didn't even look at that. I just... Hey, the robot moved. I just went in here. Wait. Why would you lead me up here? So there's this hatch here. Oh, there's a sparkle here. I shouldn't have had him. There's so much I can do if my son didn't exist. So much I could have done if I never had him. I could have obtained qualifications and licenses, taken lessons, worked more. Instead, my entire life is just a platform for my son's life. I think about it every night before I go to sleep. If I woke up in the morning and my son was dead, how splendid that would be. What the fudge? But every time I wake up and see him, I sigh. Why are you still alive? Why do you have a normal life? I yearn for the day he stops being healthy and stops growing and just disappears. That's all I want. Why can't you just do something that simple for me? I want him to die so badly it makes me cry. And the fact he has such a worthless face is just makes me even more sad. It makes me think I'm the one who's wrong. I shouldn't have had you. Oh my god, what a monstrous... What a monstrous mother. That is truly unfortunate. Okay, I see. I need to get... Alright, so I need to move that one as well. Terrible. That sucks, man. Okay, let's try to not reset anymore. Just try to be better and not mess up. Really think it through. It's mostly flooded. Be careful that you don't shock yourself. Destroy them all with electricity. Okay, well. All right, so. So I leave out here and I'm gonna have to use that to lure that one there. Lure that one there. I don't know what that one's gonna do. Oh wait, no, 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 that one's gonna lure that one. Adjust. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to hit that one. No, I probably needed to... It's fine. It's fine. I can just... I can move that one away. Oh no, wait. I bet mind control isn't something I can do in this one. No, I can only move and paralyze. Oh, that sucks. I probably already failed this one. Let's get a move on. Because what I need to do... Is come back here. And then I need to come back here.
And now that I'm on here, I can... Yeah. Dang it. I was... I, I figured out the solution, but I did it wrong. Which is frustrating, to say the least. It's a heart. This room. Does that pervert grade schooler live here? You know, the one who stole your... I said nothing happened! Unwavering girl power. I, I don't think I need any more healing item effects. Alright, control her robot. Now we can open the door. just know that I should have seen a sparkle whatever right it feels like it I'm if I come across the next kid and it's not the uh the boy I'm gonna be mad anyways what what's this for the sake of my daughter her thing is wor oh god no Oh, God, no. Why? I don't want to read this. <sighs> For the sake of my daughter, her thing is worth like eight times more than mine. Younger women. Thing is, poor bitch doesn't understand what she's that she's worth more than the younger she is. If you're looking for cost effectiveness, you gotta sell it while you're still young. But it's a waste of time telling a ten-year-old any of that, I guess. That's why mommy has to sell it for you. I'll sell it with you. As a set, even if you cry and say it hurts or it's too scary, the men will pay. Sometimes they'll pay- Oh god. Sometimes they'll even pay more. Even tears has value. Being young is a horrifying thing. It's not like I want money. It's not like I want to entrust my dream to my daughter. It's not like I'm a pervert. I do this, all of this, for the love of my child. I do it for her sake, so she can sparkle forever. No matter how much she hates me or how much society will beat me up for it, I know my actions are right. It's the parent's job to shine the spotlight on their child, you disgusting fat cow. Alright. Just go. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm in a bad mood now. Nice. Now we can keep going. What a pain. After all this, they're still playing games. Man. I don't... I honestly and truthfully do not blame Kotoko for killing her, her mother there. Like, whoa. Alright? This was frustrating to read. You know? Clearly his mom didn't love him. And just... That's upsetting, right? I, that's one thing. But what I read from that right there was so foul that if she had said that stuff to her daughter, like, I... I would not, like, I, and, and, you, and you throw me on the jury to, like, you know, dis discuss, like, how I, like, like what, what punishment to give the daughter? I'd, it'd be the lightest slap on the wrist ever. For, for her mother, anyways. The murder of her mother. The latest of slaps on the wrist. So frustrating. That was disgusting. Another robot. There's no way it would end with those two robots from earlier. Not with these developers. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I'm I'm in I'm in a mood now. I refuse to believe that the bottom floor here would be devoid of any sparkle at all. Nope, I'm gonna double check. See, I'm gonna double check. Alright, well, 
Can't find any, so let's just let's move on. There's an arcade machine over there. This room feels different than the others. It's less of a fighting stage and more like a riddle. Wait, what was the what was the question? What was the- what's the riddle? Oh no. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe the riddle's somewhere inside? Okay. Use the thing that only you can see and the thing that only others see in a- in precise order. Use the thing- Okay, I'm confused. something for three something for three something for eight Three something four eight. What can can I is there like a number written somewhere? Oh there's a zero up here. I didn't okay. Sparkle. Blue thread from the scarred mountain. As I live here in the village deep down in the mountains, I dream about you every night on the, my thin futon on the creaking kitchen floor. From the author of So Lingers the Ocean, Toko Fukawa's long awaited new novel. Huh? huh? Is this another one of your books? It says Toku Fukawa's latest work right there, genius. Um, how many books have you written, Toko? Hmm. Never really counted before, let me think. If you're talking about novels, I'd say more than 80. 80? It's not so surprising. I wrote every single day, after all. It's 
not the quantity that matters, it's the quality. Only third-rate companies value quantity. As expected of an ultimate. But, but aren't you getting antsy lately since you haven't been able to write? <sighs> oh yeah, I'm aching to get all these raging emotions onto a manuscript. I'm worried that if I don't get these babies out, my creative womb is going to explode. <laughs> yeah, that sounds bad. And... What about you? What do you want to do when you get out of here? Well, lots of stuff, really. I want to go to school and eat my mom's cooking, and there's a lot of manga to read. <laughs> and also, I want to go on a picnic with you. A picnic? A virgin dude's date of choice? You see, it's just that I haven't really seen a nice, peaceful blue sky lately. <laughs> so when I get out of this place, I want to go on a picnic with you. Under a clear, sunny blue sky, I want to do all the cliche things, like eat sandwiches. I see. <laughs> Even when you're fantasizing, you're normal. Well, if I don't have any engagement ceremonies with Master planned that day, I'll think about it. Toko! Uh, you said you'd go. It's a promise, then. Huh? I said I'd think about it. It's too early to think about that kind of stuff until we escape. All right! Well, the way I see it, I'm definitely going to escape. You see the same way, don't you? <laughs> That's true, but I guess I'm surprised by how much you've changed in this short time. <laughs> People change. <sighs> Cut the attitude. I should make a daily routine of lubing up your doorknob with salad dressing. Stop it! Ew, please don't! I'll never want to go home! Ugh, I, I don't want to read what his parents had to say about him. Any hidden kids? Any at all? Feel free to step up. I guess not. Did I collect a sparkle from the art kids room? Because I feel like I didn't. Debating on switching subjects. I cannot obtain the result I was expecting with my experiment. I cannot discern whether the environment or the subject himself is the problem. I shall look into the experiment conditions in more detail. Until now, I have used solely visual observation, but I should erect cameras to watch the subject at all times and discipline the subject when resting longer than allowed. If I do not obtain the, any desirable results with the experiment, I will conclude that this problem lies with the subject and change my experimental target. Yeah, you're a piece of human garbage, too. There's an arcade machine over there. Four aberrant Monokumas. We might be able to defeat them in one go if we get the right angle. Oh, I have to get them all to line up. Oh no, I have to be careful about this. Yes! Oh, that was the easiest one yet, but it was kind of nerve-wracking because I, I couldn't look at the uh, camera. But it's okay, because they're dead. That P.E. idiot must live here. This room reeks of insecurity and overcompensation. Do you have some kind of grudge against- Masaru Diamond's Diary, and then he's drawn poop around it. Beware of being the underdog. Warriors of Hope leader Lord Masaru Diamond. Wait, 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 wait. The left side. Everyone's in it. Wait. Is it going to do the Japanese thing of, like, reading from right to left? Whatever, I'm going to still read that to make sure that it's said. Everyone's an ally. As long as they wear the Monokuma's ha ha head, 
uh, Monokuma's head. Everyone is our ally. If this keeps up, the paradise will be completed in no time. And when that happens, I'll bring peace to the entire world next. No doubt about it, Monica's the best. As expected of the mage of the warriors of hope led by me, just trust in Monica and even brain rinsing is easy as pie. It's just Monica. Just Monica. Toko, about this brain rinse part, he clearly means brainwash. Brainwashing? Does that really exist? I've only seen that in science fiction. No, that level of technology was developed long ago. Technology like that can't exactly be advertised to the public, can it? I figured this was the case. The masterminds made the other kids wear those helmet things to brainwash them. That's even more reason we gotta stop the adults from fighting the children. I mean, if they were under mind control, they aren't really to blame at all. Right? I know how you feel, but it's better if you don't think about that. Huh? What do you mean? I know that you're growing, but I have a bad feeling about this. The way you've grown? Uh, I feel like this whole situation has been a setup. Setup? By who? By Monica. The one who teamed up with that white haired guy, trying to bring you all the way here. And here you are, right in the kids' HQ. It's exactly as that person planned. Yeah. But even if that's true, if I just run away, I can't do anything about this war, right? Right, but... It's going to be all right. I don't know whose idea this was, or why they're doing this, but... As long as we stop this violence, nothing else matters. You're right. We've come this far. Only thing to do now is believe in ourselves and go for it. You're really starting to sound like him now. <laughs> you think so? Don't blush. <sighs> it's just like I said, brother complex. Okay. Was that his version of the sparkle? He doesn't get one. Make it sure. Triple check. All right. 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 Now we can open the door. Man, I really feel like I should have been able to see, like, one of the Monokuma kids from up here. But I haven't. Hmm. I, I really haven't. And that's unsettling, but what can you do? Ah. Oh. This guy. That useless shitty brat. I ordered my son to go buy alcohol. I even gave him the money. He comes back home empty handed. He said something about not having ID or something. Whatever. Who cares? I trained the boy. I made him go do it one more time and he comes back with alcohol. The next day, the cops show up. Apparently the little shit stole it. The brat humiliated me. But I trained him good as soon as the cops left. I hate my son's face when I'm teaching him a lesson. The smiley forces so that I'll stop hitting him creeps me out. He can't just cry or yell like a regular kid. Shit, I got myself a defective product. didn't have a room. <laughs> what? She gets special treatment or something just because she's the mastermind? I'm just... I'm having a hard time breathing right now because I'm really hmm. stressed out. Alright. And in this episode here, I'm going to go chill out for a little bit and record the next one. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I just... 
it's really hard to be in a happy mood when you're reading that stuff and thinking that like there's probably people out there who are like this and that upsets me 